I'm Ron Fisher. I teach virtual cinematography here at Global Cinematography Institute. My name is Kyle Murphy. My class is uh, virtual cinematography. Uh, virtual cinematography is where we work with students to combine real things that you can see on the set with uh, things that aren't on the set uh, in real time with post-production workflows for doing the same sort of thing. Virtual cinematography is about how virtual production techniques, pre-vis, on-set vis, post-vis, um, all those things, interact with the cinematographer in virtual cinematography, how real and simulated camera systems combine to create you know, the sort of images that we see in visual effects nowadays, both in real time and in post-production. I like to communicate with the students about uh, green screen lighting techniques, techniques for shooting uh, like photogrammetry so that way if you're in a location or you can only have a location for a limited amount of time or you can't actually officially go to a location but you can send one photographer there you can capture a location and take it with you to use later to up your production value. Virtual cinematography at GCI prepares students for this these challenges mainly by letting them know what the underpinnings of all this technology are. We go through the idea of photography as measurement, not only photography as a means of composing art. So we talk about how photography can form the basis for measuring lighting, for measuring geometry, and for, you know, real-time moving camera. I mean, how that all works together and what's, you know, what's the basis for it so that students can work with these techniques, they can use them and make them a part of their production day to day. Virtual cinematography is the future. This, that's the way it's all going. It started out VFX were only on the highest of the high end, you know, the Jurassic Park, the Terminators. Now it's on telenovelas, soap operas, children's shows, game shows, all kinds of things just that you're seeing every day. And then even little independent student work has heavy, heavy effects in it. Clearly for me the best part of all this is when I see a student take away a technique that they go and then use on a production, even if it's just a part of what we teach here, they get at that gateway, even on an early project, to doing something that would probably be something that a student would only really encounter much later in their career, but they have the confidence and the understanding of the process that they can apply it as soon as they need it.